we're back. Time to get some ace. Hardware. Right? Man, I have that song in my head. I no reason why. I mean, we did watch it the other day. I guess it was on when I was in the shower. Probably. Performance enhancing tools, man. Gotta use those performance enhancing tools, bro. I was laughing at the performance enhancing tools. Oh, okay. It's a good gag. Hey man, you just gotta cheat. Cheat, cheat, cheat. Already using reference, you know, so you might as well keep cheating even more. It's true. You can disgrace the Pharaoh. Dishonor the Pharaoh, man. Better not be dishonoring the Pharaoh out here, bro. That's just Yu-Gi-Oh! suicide. <laughs> <coughs> not to honor duel me outside, bro. Honor duel. <laughs> Fucking honor duel, man. What a time. Right. What a time. <laughs> Looks like I have two. Hmm? What's oh, that? what's that dude up to? Yeah. I have no idea. Challenging kids to honor duels left That guy and right. was crazy, man. I, I, sometimes I would see him at cons we were at. Oh, really? Yeah, and I was just like, oh shit, it's the honor duel guy. Hmm. I must have never noticed. <clears throat> I probably just don't remember him very well. Nah. I'm just really good with faces. So for anyone who hasn't watched One Piece, this character ends up perfectly fine. Nothing bad happens to them. No, nothing at all. Yeah, they're a beloved character. Yes. <laughs> beloved by all. Nothing could ever bad happen to them. No. Whatsoever. Yeah. Yeah, we drew Nami earlier in the week, and we were going to do this, the same stream, but we kind of ran out of time. Yeah. So. So here we are now. Mm-hmm. Finishing what Darth Vader started. Always. I'm finishing what Darth Vader started, like, you know, on the daily. On the daily. <laughs> sure, man. I just remember after seeing that, I was like, what did he start, though? The tradition of, uh, I guess, Darth Vader-inspired villains. I guess, yeah. So that's what he was there to finish. You know, because he's kind of like that, you know? I mean, like, if they don't do that in the next movie, then technically he did finish what Darth Vader started. Sure, man. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> Look, it's not a good movie. We don't, need to, we don't need to justify whatever they do. <laughs> no, God, no. Look, it was there to make money. That's all you need right. to know. I heard the Mandalorian is alright. Yeah, it's bad. Because you know, again, it's Lone Wolf and Cub. Yeah, Kyle. it's Lone Wolf and Cub, but reskinned. 
Again, I think Star Wars does a better job now of just reskinning stuff because that was what I liked. Um, what was that one called? Rogue uh, One. Or Rogue whatever? One, yeah. Yeah, I was like, oh, this is just a war movie, just reskinned. Like, I can dig this. It's not a masterpiece, but it was a fun watch. Yeah. Find fun watches every once in a while. Yeah, again. yeah. I mean, I want to watch it again. And no, it'd probably weird, not. It'd be weird. Like, that's one of those. Like, there, this doesn't happen anymore because no one has TV, you know, except old people. But like, you know, if it was a rerun or whatever, and nothing was on, that kind of thing. Yeah, I guess. But like, you don't have to deal with that anymore now. Not really, no. Although it kind of sucks because some movies, that's how they got, like, big, was, like, they just get rerun a lot on cable or, you know, on TV, and then that's how they get, like, a cool following. Yeah. Because they, like, wouldn't do so good at the box office, you know? I'm pretty sure there's still things that get cool following, so... Yeah, yeah, it's just different. Yeah. The, like, funnel that we consume through is, like, so divided now. Does he still have that? He does. That's interesting. What? Oh, I didn't notice that arm thing, like, where the fire is at, that, that he still has this thing. Oh, okay. That I have had. I'm going to fix that real quick. <coughs> yeah, I didn't even notice that. Uh-oh. That's fine. Uh, I was reading through the SBS um, on One Piece actually earlier today, mm -hmm. and so you remember that scene uh, where the, the the revolutionaries first show up um, and like take over that town. Uh, I think so. Yeah. Like from Peachbeard. Yeah, yeah. So that chick that had the bandana on, mm -hmm. that uh, like that um, the chick leader like picked up. Yeah. That's the same girl that saved Ace's life. To give milk to the remember those those covers where Ace is looking for Blackbeard. Oh yeah, it's her. Wow, I didn't even notice that. And then some, that's crazy. Then I read the SBS. I'm like, holy shit, he never forgets. He never does. Yeah, because all those covers are canon, you know. Yeah, yeah. If they're a story one. Yeah, it's just interesting because you're just like, what the f what? For real? Yeah. Nah, nothing slips by Oda. Yeah. That's why he's a god, man. It's insane. The god Oda. He's just utterly insane. I've never heard of this. I still want to know what happened to all the revolutionaries. We need to get yeah. back to that. It's been a while because mm -hmm. there was like a whole thing that apparently like Sabo did something. Yeah, some shit went down. At, at the, the reverie. reverie. Yeah. Yeah, because I remember they were going to kill the king. Something yeah. Like that. They were going to kill Cobra. Mm -hmm. They were like, Cobra knows too much or whatever. And his family is part of those traitors or whatever they mentioned. Yeah. Who do you want us to kill? <laughs> right? And then they just had that throne where they were like, this is the throne where no one sits. And then immediately some mysterious guy sits on it. It's like, fucking Christ. God damn it. So fucking One Piece. Oh, I know. The, the random giant straw hat. Yeah, that was also interesting. Like, what? Okay, now, now he's kind of losing me here. What's going on? 
The will of D, man. What does it mean? <clears throat> the will of D's nuts. What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? What does it mean? One needs to know. There's so many things I need to know. Mm-hmm. When he saw the One Piece, oh, I know, dude. he laughed. The motherfucking One Piece. You only ever draw the one eye. <laughs> First of all, it's not true. No, no, I'm I just, know, I, I know. fucking love that guy. Oh, shit. It's like, oh, damn. <laughs> that's that's what I did in all of these. <laughs> that was so funny. I was going to start calling that dude the one eye artist. <laughs> just only ever draws one eye in all of his pictures. That was so funny. He's like, damn, I did that in every one of these. <laughs> It'll be Christmas soon. Yeah, I love that. Yo, I just hit my girlfriend he with that. He was like, I got her with that earlier. <laughs> she was like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I love when we have bad influence on people. Mm-hmm. I know I didn't want to go back last time, but I think maybe I'd be fine going back again. Yeah, I mean, if we were in, but I think there's another con that's the same week this time, right? Or I, don't I don't even know what's happening, so I don't know. You know what I mean, though. Yeah, I don't know. If like, I'd be down to like start applying again. You know, yeah. when everything's getting normal. But I do like that spot upstairs. It's really fun to look out at the beach. Definitely. Yeah, just um, it was that one. Just always the sales were never good. Yeah, the sales are pretty mediocre. They always seem to get good guests, though. Yeah, I don't know how they do it. That might be just one of those cons that's better for the people who attend than it is for the people who vend. Yeah, maybe the sales on the first floor are just better. Again, yeah, it's probably the case too, because like, mm -hmm. everyone's down there most of the times. So. Yeah, there's really not much of a reason to come up to the second floor. Not really, no. The only thing that's up there that's cool is the arcade. Yeah, but then like most people aren't there for the arcade. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm just saying that's the only thing that's cool. It is kind of funny how much there is on this character's design. Oh, I know. He has a lot of stuff. Even though he's, like, shirtless, too, which is, like, the funny part. Mm-hmm. Like, how do you put so much on a character who's wearing literally nothing? He has a lot of accessories. Yeah. It's, like, a good fantasy character. Yeah, I always think, like, a lot of accessories would just be really cool on fantasy characters like that, you know? Definitely. Just like a mono, you know? They always have some sort of, like thing hanging somewhere mm -hmm. like a weird knife you know and stuff like that and i love all the different patterns that like one character can have in a yeah. mono character definitely you can just have like stripes with spots with all that other stuff on them Like, they just went to, like, you know, Joanne's and grabbed, like, their five favorite things and made it <laughs> into an outfit. Pretty much. <clears throat> yeah, I couldn't settle, so I picked five clashing patterns and turned them into one outfit. <laughs> but mm. it always works. Just 
go to fucking X to get S. Mm hmm. Yeah, I liked that. I thought that was an interesting thing, you know? Yeah. That's, like, kind of cool. Definitely. It's just really funny. It says a lot about, like, the the world, you know, and the character. Yeah. Like, yeah, I tattooed it on their ace, you know, that's my name. And then the tattoo artist can't fucking spell it or some shit. Yeah. Oh, no, he's a dumbass. Like, dude, that's not how you spell that. <laughs> oh, fuck, I got you, man, I got you. <laughs> like, X is it out. <laughs> You know what this fucking kid had the nerve to say to me? He said he was gonna be the fucking king of the pirates. Right. I still love the Urban Dictionary definition under Monkey D. Luffy. It's like, man will become the motherfucking king of the pirates. Just <laughs> some fucking respect. <laughs> yeah. Some shit like that. Yeah, I forgot that's about like that. It's like so fucking funny. Oh, yeah. Just that's... some fucking respect. <laughs> He's gonna be king of the pirates. He's gonna be king. There's a fucking Yoda one like that too, where it's like the definition is like little green dude who's doing flips and shit and will fuck you up, <laughs> something like that. better show some goddamn respect show some goddamn respect it's something like that that's yeah. fucking hilarious i used to like poke around on urban dictionary all the time back in the day oh yeah they always had some really funny i love the there. one there was one for ghost ship also that was like the shittiest worst movie of all time and then the example sentence is ghost ship is ghost shit <laughs> That's pretty good. I'm inclined to agree. Have you ever seen that movie? It's fucking terrible. Uh, no, it doesn't sound familiar. It's terrible. The only good part is like the scene at the very beginning of the movie where everyone gets killed. Because it's like pretty well done and it's like an interesting idea. But after that, the whole movie is fucking abysmal. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I remember me and Mike uh, watched it one time because we rented it. It was so bad. <clears throat> Sounds like a movie y'all would rent. Well, we didn't know it was that bad. Oh, really? That's funny. <laughs> yeah, no, we didn't know it was that bad. Oh, that's even funnier. Yeah, it was like House of the Dead, you know, when we rented House of the Dead. I remember that. it was going to be hype. Yeah, no, it was not hype. Yeah, it was, in, it was distinctly unhype. <laughs> yes, I recall. Oh, man, that movie's a fucking pile of shit. I wouldn't even watch that movie again. I'd rather watch Deathbed again. Oh, it? I'd hell rather watch Deathbed again. <laughs> Just how I judge a movie. I know. It's just an easy way to judge it. Like, if a movie's not worth watching over Deathbed, you know, then what's the point? That's true. Deathbed's just a nice, easy movie to watch. You know, you just put it on, you let it go. <laughs> That's it. It's easy. Yeah, it's got an easy-to-follow plot, you know? The love story that's, like, more romantic than fucking almost anything I've ever seen. So, A, B, C. <coughs> Makes me think of the... I was like, you haven't seen the Yuru camp thing? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, obviously. Makes you think of what? Oh, uh, um, I don't know. Uh, I lost my train of thought after thinking of the Yuru camp. Oh, okay. Are you going to head out, Ash? Right, have a good night. Yep, stay well. <coughs> now I've got the fucking Yuru camp fucking theme in my head. Dude. I still haven't, I, I don't know what the new theme is going to be, so. I just want to know what Jackson 5 song they rip off. Oh, Alright, same.
I mean, I can't wait to be there so I can show you. Oh, yeah? I just oh, my eyes. Just... Yeah, right? Oh, God. Yeah, right over there? I don't know. What happened? Are you going to keep that off for a while, or what are you going to do? Yeah, I'm going to keep it off for a while. fuck right now. Yeah, I'm going to keep it off for a while. It was just bizarre. I was just like, why, why, why is it so weird? Like my eyes just went like super like what the fuck. Well, I mean you're staring at like nothing but bright light. <clears throat> yeah, that's probably what it is. Staring at a blinding light. I was in fact blinded by that light. Mm-hmm. There it is. I'm so hyped, though. What is that? I want to watch Black Frankenstein. Oh, God. <laughs> Blackenstein. Black Frankenstein. Black <laughs> Frankenstein. I don't know if everyone's going to be good, though. I don't remember what day. Uh, what day uh... Uh, it's day, like, 10 for me. Or, no, it's more than that. It's almost day 14. Oh, I meant for Martin Luther King Jr. Day. It's Monday. It's this Monday, right? Yeah. yeah. I guess everyone won't be good. I don't know about that. That's a shame. What do you mean nobody? everyone won't be good? Well, I don't think everyone will be better. Okay. Yeah, it should be. On Monday? Yeah. Devin, like, just got it. You got it on Wednesday. Yeah, but everyone else has had it for more than a week now. So it means he'll be better by, like, Friday, next Friday at the earliest. Mm, wear masks. Yeah. It's not the same. Also, not everyone has it. <clears throat> we don't know that. We don't know, uh, no, we don't know about um, Sabrina just yet. I mean, technically, we don't know if you have it. That's probably true after this rate. You know, I have no symptoms or anything like that. Yeah, I don't know if you want to get tested. Didn't you say you're supposed to go back to work soon? Yeah. I'm probably going to get tested late this weekend. Yeah. I know, I'm pretty much over everything, other than, like I said, sometimes I can get kind of, like, tired, and I still have a cough. I mean, I know why I'm tired right now. Yeah, right, because no sleep. Yeah. No, I feel you. It's about till three. Yeah, I hope you can get some sleep tonight. Uh, I'm gonna doubt it. I'll try. I'll try. <laughs> Hopefully Ellen makes a recovery soon. Yeah, same. I'm definitely hoping to that. Because, <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of weird to see, like, you know, I feel like pretty much normal almost, and she's still, like, not getting too much better, I guess. Yeah, I have no clue. You know what I mean? No, I, yeah, I know what you mean. It's really, like, 
It is bothersome. Not bothersome. That's not the right word. Worrisome. Yeah, exactly. Earlier she said she saw a headache, but I don't know yeah. if she was being that ill. So. Yeah. cards that came with that DS game because there's one I remember there was one that had Ace on that thing oh okay. you know the ones I'm talking about yeah now From I back do. in the day it like took me a second it was them in the like strong world outfits yeah yeah I think so I think they were cards for the um that card ass game or whatever it's called the card ass game. That's what the company is called. Is it? Yeah, it's like C A R D D A S S or something like that. Is the company? Hmm. I'll leave it to that. It might be one D, but. Yeah, it's like Miracle Battle uh, card. Cardass or something like that. It looks like Cardass though, <laughs> huh? Because it's C A R D D A S. That's interesting. Yeah, <clears throat> that's where like some of those cards that we got to use for tokens. Yeah, yeah. That's the game that that's from. Interesting. So. Because it has like a bunch of different anime. I don't know what their latest ones are. They had some really good stuff. Some of the foils in that are amazing looking. You gotta go to the Japanese website to find them. It makes sense. Like, I just have to find it spelled out in Japanese. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh shit, they got Common Rider cards though? Oh, from like the Gacha games? Yeah. I didn't know this company did the, the Common Rider cards. How do I get them? How do I go look at them? That's what I want. Oh, Website in Japanese right now. Nice. Good. Good job. You got this. Yeah. Nice. <clears throat> yeah, because we have a couple of these cards. Yeah. They're the same ones that we got uh, at the uh, con. I just don't know, like, an easy way to find, like, the whole setup of what you can get. Mm -hmm. Oh, I 
like that blue or whatever that color is. Like teal kind of color. Yeah, teal turquoise. Yeah, something like that. Ken has like a color like this in Street Fighter 2, I think. It's the one I usually try to pick. Nice. And then the Ken Masters. One hat. Right. I wonder when they're just gonna make a new Street Fighter game. Like, when are they gonna up it to six? Ah. It's still been at five for like quite a while now. Yeah, that's interesting. I don't know. Question. If they do it, they should do it soon. Oh, I don't know. I mean, unless they're relevant, right? Yeah, right. I mean, it's kind of tough right now. You know, there's no, like, events and stuff going on. Yeah, that I know of, unless they're, like, a bunch of online events. Yeah, I don't think the online is usually very good on those games. No. I'd be shocked. I know everyone hates the Street Fighter online. Yeah. Same with like the reason why no one likes the Nintendo online stuff. So. Oh yeah, I heard the online is like ass for trying to play like Smash Bros. Yeah, that's why they were trying to do it through a proxy site. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, they got in trouble. That's all. It's pretty much it. Yeah, yeah. Nintendo do stupid things. I mean, I mean, it's Japan. Like they they keep their shit like real strict. Oh, I know. Yeah. stealing all your money next thing you know. That's true. Yeah, uh, I don't know. It's. Mm -hmm. da damned if you do, damned if you don't, and all that jazz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Persona one looks so good though. I'm looking at it over here. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it looks crazy good. I just think the colors, when you color them like traditionally, I think they end up looking like just, I don't know, something about like they blend nicer or something. Yeah, I'd agree that they blend. Digitally. Yeah, they blend nicer, definitely. Yeah, yeah they, got, they just like look more natural or something. I'm not quite sure what it is. <clears throat> like the shading on them always just looks like really good. Mm -hmm.
also like this when you can fire it, it's just really fucking good. Mm hmm. Nebraska coming. Nice. Know. Yeah, I doubt That'd it. Be sick. That'd be cool, but I yeah. doubt it. There's yeah. no way Gabby's letting him go on Valentine's Day. Yeah. I didn't even think about the fact that it was Valentine's Day, to be honest with you. I just like, oh, it's February. I didn't even. I I had noticed last time I looked, but uh, again, I'm just like, whatever. <coughs> Valentine's Day is the only day we can express love. It's Valentine's Day. Oh, you have to stay. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Valentine's Day is the only day you ever tell me you love me. Right. Like, Valentine's Day is invented by card companies. You know what isn't invented by card companies and inspired? Ghost stories. All right. Ramon and Jaku are going to be there. That's true. <laughs> Honey, you don't understand. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <coughs> Look, the cat from Ghost Stories is gonna be there. Like the the VA for him. I can't not go. Like that's it. We still need to get the uh, Bunny Girls autograph too. We have that oh, yeah. picture still. It's down there somewhere. I don't know where it is. I'll have to fish you out. I forgot where I put it. I need to also remember to draw something um, uh, for a specific voice actor for a specific character that Ellen in is enjoying. Oh, really? Yeah. Someone from like Fire Emblem or something? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. Are they going to be at a con we're going to? Not yet, but they will be. They go to a lot of cons. Oh, what character is it? Yuri. Oh, okay. That's guy, the same guy. Yeah, yeah. Do they voice anyone else? Um, yeah, actually. Uh, it's Alejandro Saab. I'm trying to remember all of his characters, but he's like a few characters. Um, oh, okay. Like, he did a lot of background characters. I'm trying to remember who he was that was like a main character, though. Um, mm -hmm. eh, it's fine if you don't remember. I probably haven't even, like, I probably haven't even heard it, you know? Yeah. I might know the character, you know, just from knowing the, uh, you know, obviously watching anime, but I wouldn't know what they sound like. Yeah, because you didn't hear it dubbed. Yeah, I don't even remember if I've heard that other guy dubbed. Uh, probably not. Yeah, I don't think I've watched any of that dubbed. No, wait, no, I've watched it because you showed me all the supports. Oh, that's right. You were right. watching them one time. So I have seen most of them dubbed. I just totally forgot. That was like a year ago when that came out now. Yeah. So it's kind of weird to like, I totally forgot that we watched all of those. Totally fine. Because right. you were watching like the whole game. You watched like the whole game before you played it. No, I didn't. I watched, uh, I watched the supports. Oh, well, whatever. That's the same thing. No, it's not the plot. So. It's close enough. I didn't watch any of the main character stuff. I only watched the, the side characters because I'm like, oh, these side characters probably don't have as much importance to the plot as the main characters do, so I can watch their supports and not be completely spoiled.
I know I'm definitely going to be hyped when I can take this mask off around the house. Right? <laughs> oh, for real. It's like, I don't mind wearing it out, you know, for a little while, but... Yeah, wearing it for as long as I've been wearing it, it's been really kind of frustrating. Only just because of the fact that just wearing it uh, lulls me to sleep. Mm. I don't know how to describe it, other than that I feel like it's just like the weird lack of oxygen you get mm. from wearing these cloth masks. It just kind of bothers my ears. Like this mask specifically. My other mask doesn't bother me as much, but... I kind of don't feel like going and getting it from my car, because then I know I'll forget it next time I go somewhere. Mm-hmm. Because that happened to me once before. <clears throat> you know what I'm going to look up, though? What's up? I need to see if any weird-ass movies are going to be fucking shown. Mm-hmm. <laughs> we got oh damn the Maltese Falcon is going to be in theaters later this month damn. shit I might go see that that's a goodie oh damn and Dr. No also oh I love that movie oh they're playing this over here dude what's up oh, we hella gotta see this the new Ghibli movie the CG one oh the yeah Witch yeah Band? yeah 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 I want to see this On the 4th? Uh, March? Or no, February? no, no. The, uh, February. Okay. What? Why'd you skip a month? I don't know. Okay. <coughs> That's on uh, Thursday. Okay. Yeah, I want to see this. Just because, like, it seems kind of interesting, you know? Yeah, definitely. To see a uh, CG film done by Ghibli. Yeah. Also, this is the uh, the son, right? Uh, I'm not sure. I just know uh, that because Goro, that's his son, right? Yeah, and I just he did Ursi, I think. Yeah, he also did Up from Poppy Hill. Uh, I just the one thing I did know about this is that the designer, I think, is the uh, the guy who did Monster. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, this seems kind of interesting, you know. Yeah, it definitely has a lot of. I want to go see it. Definitely has a lot of things that would pique my interest. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I didn't know they were doing English showings, or, or uh, American showings, you know. It does mm -hmm. have a dub, apparently. Yeah, cool. Oh, shit, Boys in the Hood. Nice. The perfect movie to go see with John. Hmm. Uh, they have too much planned out past the end of February yet, though. We can go see the Ten Commandments. That's a good film, too, actually. That's a long one, too, if yeah, I remember right. right. How long was the movie again? Is it time listed on here? Yeah, three hours and, four, and 55 minutes. Mm -mm. That's a long fucking one. Yeah, no, I'm good on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, no. I've never even seen the whole thing, I think. That's not worth it. It's, there's not too many movies that are that long that I watch. Yeah, I'll like catch part of it if it's on TCM, you know, for Easter yeah. or something. Well, that one's just not on for Easter, no. but you know what I mean. It's on for some religious holiday. Shanika. <laughs> joking about people not having enough attention span to watch movies and all that, though, but that, that's one of those movies I'm like, no, I'm good. That's a lot. It, it's, it's just because, like, the subject matter, you know. Yeah. I'm not much of a religious person either, so. Yeah. <coughs> I don't know too many movies that I like that are that long. It's like, yeah. the real thing. That too. Like, maybe if I found a movie that I like that was four hours. And that's going to have an intermission, you know. You can go stand up and come back. Yeah, because there's no way I'm sitting for four hours straight. I can't do that. Yeah. It has an intermission anyway. Most movies that are... I think most old movies that are like two and a half hours long, a minimum, have like an intermission somewhere in the middle. Because mm -hmm. they'll still play even when they're on like Turner Classic movies. 
I remember yeah, right, I remember the intermission it. will still come up. Yeah, intermission always does come up. Because can... they won't cut the commercial. No. Which is another reason why I fucking love that channel. Mm hmm. And even when they were like on, you know, quote unquote commercial, it was usually just stuff about the channel, you know, things about movies, filling in the time gaps between movies. Yeah. It wasn't like just a bunch of shitty, you know, head on, apply directly to the forehead. Head on, man. <laughs> Shit like that, you know? Yeah, it was never anything like that, which is nice. Yeah, that was why I fucking love that channel. You could at least, you at least always knew there was a movie on. Mm hmm. It's like, okay, there's a chance this could be a movie I'm interested in. <clears throat> and around Halloween, they always show, like, some of the best fucking horror movies. Yeah. Usually always, like, a good monster movie or something on the watch. I remember they one time played, um... Psycho. Mm-hmm. Um, I got to see that in the theaters. Oh, you saw that in theaters? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. I've never seen it in theaters. Yeah, it's definitely worth it, uh, seeing it in theaters. I'll bet. I remember I told you this already, but that was the first movie to have, like, a toilet flush on screen. That's correct. You did tell me that. Yeah, that's so weird. That, and it was, like, the first movie ever where they would only sell you tickets at the beginning of the movie. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Yeah, that's just, like, weird to think about that, like, you would just go to the theater and be like, yeah, I'll take a ticket for this movie that's already, like, 50 minutes in, you know, and then yeah. I'll just sit and watch the end of it, and then when it's done and it plays back through again, I'll watch up to what I saw, and then I'll probably just leave, you know, or yeah. something like that. It's kind of weird to think about. Definitely a different time. Yeah. Kind of interesting though. It's like, well, I only just want to go see the end of this movie anyway, <laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck is this movie though? Hold on. God's Compass. Uh, I'm good. Nice. On the night Suzanne Waters celebrates her retirement, she is faced with a series of decisions that change her life forever. Trusting God's direction, her truth becomes clear as she takes in a troubled teenager. Uh, I think that's Eli. Uh, or, yeah, I'm going to go with Eli. Uh, oh, no, wait. Yeah. And her family embarks on a journey of adoption, healing, and renewed faith. <coughs> I'm good. God's compass. It's God's compass, man. Is that related to the Golden Compass? Yeah, uh, no. Oh, okay. I don't know if that film is actually religious or not. <laughs> the Golden Compass? No, it's like anti-religious, isn't it? That's I, part of the reason why people were against it. I don't remember. Well, either way, this piece is done. <clears throat> oh, okay. Oh, that looks good. Yeah. Yeah, I like it. It turned out pretty decent. Mm -hmm. Got some good sense of lighting, things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need to just scan some stuff in tomorrow, I guess, and then we'll work on uh, getting everything started to be posted up. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Anyway, All right, well, we're gonna head out. Definitely gonna go to sleep, I think. Definitely sleep sounds good. Yeah, I might eat some crackers or something. I'm not gonna order food till tomorrow, so. Yeah, I was thinking about eating a bagel, but now I'm just like, what's that bagel? Right. I'll eat the bagel if you don't want it. I want the bagel. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, we're gonna we're gonna head out. So everyone, have a good night. Stay safe.